So before we start, happy holidays everyone. I'm sorry that I couldn't post these past few weeks, but the holiday season can be so hectic that I wasn't able to create or post any videos, but I'm back now, just in time for New Year's. So with that in mind, let's analyze one of my favorite Walt Women poems, When I Heard the Learned Astronomer. Let's start with the summary. Our narrator is sitting in an astronomy classroom when a famous astronomer comes in to begin the lecture. The lesson involves graphs, addition, the vision and measurements, but nothing about space, planets, or the stars. As his classmates are intrigued by the lecture, he just feels sick by it. So he eventually decides to walk out. Now outside, he looks up at the sky, stunned by the beauty of the stars. Now for the analysis. So the poem is trying to tell us that humans aren't the best teachers when it comes to teaching nature. In the first three lines, we establish that we are learning about astronomy, which is the study of space in the universe. Yet, instead of a conversation about space and the stars, the lecture is more mathematical than what the narrator expected. All of this just makes him feel sick, and in line 5 and 6 is when he walks out. In line 7, he writes, In the mystical, moist night air which means he is enjoying the fresh air. In line 8, he decides to look up at the stars. So when trying to learn about astronomy, and to be more broad, nature itself, in the classroom it made him feel sick. Because humans in our attempt in trying to understand nature, misses out on what the beauty of nature is. It's why when the narrator walks outside, he enjoys the clean air. And when he looks up at the stars, we can assume that he learned more just by observing nature than in the classroom. So why did Walt Women write this? In his early life, he was actually a teacher, and being a teacher, he must have realized that you can't teach everything at school, especially nature. And the only true way to do so is to go outside and observe nature at work. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed, and remember, this is all but one interpretation. If you have another one, I would love to hear it in the comments below. I'm the Poetry Guy, and I'll see you next time.